through the cops and went all the way around. Bridge. This time around. Yeah, hear me on the block. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? It has been a minute since I have been on YouTube, but I feel like there's no better time to come back than heading into half a marathon weekend. So tomorrow is the Austin Marathon. I'm going to be running the half marathon. I've been prepping since September um, and it is now February 19th. So I'm about to head to go get my packet, my bib, all the fun things in downtown Austin. Um, and then I'm also carb loading today. So making sure I up the carbs, electrolytes, so that way I go into tomorrow with my glycogen stores tapped off, um, topped off. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along and it's gonna be a great weekend. Let's do it. officially checked in. I've got my packet. I've got my bib as you guys saw. Well the bib's in here. I don't want to lose this. Um, but let's just take a little peek in the swag bag. I don't know what this is and I don't want to open it. Oh, come on. Open it? Okay. Oh! Reminds me of Harry Potter a bit. Yeah. Is it upside down? Run Austin. <laughs> And we have, oh, I love a good free shirt. I mean, sorry, it's not free. I paid to get in, but. Ooh. Love a good $120 shirt. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, Under Armour, so at least it's Under Armour. <laughs> and then we've got, oh, another. Gosh. Oh, Look yes. at this. <laughs> I just thought of it all. <laughs> oh, oh, we got some free chews. I did not buy these. And then, oh, we've got another packet of goo, shoes, and we've got some hand sanitizer. <laughs> and huh, I've never had CBD, which I don't plan on starting right now, but we've got some CBD soft gel. And I think that's the end. The rest is just the goos that I bought. That about does it. Uh, we had to come all the way downtown for this, so we're gonna make a, a bit of an afternoon of it. It's already 2.30, but we're gonna get some food. I still need to carb load. I haven't really had as many carbs as I need to yet, so we're gonna go have some, some good food, and I still need some caffeine, and then we'll just see where the day takes us. It's a beautiful day, right, Kelby? It's a beautiful day. back home I uh, had such a great afternoon with Kelby it was so nice having her go with me to go pick up my packet and my bib and then we had a little uh, made a little afternoon out of it I was fueling uh, or getting more carbs in throughout the day and electrolytes with G1M sport it doesn't come in these bags anymore um, it comes in tubs but G1M sport it has digesting carbs and electrolytes so I've had Sipping on my third scoop of this for the for today to help me get in my carbs and stay on top of hydration. And then also I've been mixing in electrolytes. Again, these are both BPN. Mixing in electrolytes so I can get on top of hydration or stay on top of hydration and um, my glycogen stores 
going into tomorrow. So I'm about to make my last full meal. It's gonna be breakfast for dinner. I was supposed to have this this morning, but I didn't have time. And I ended up having this big bagel. I meant to start recording earlier today, but I was kind of in a little rush. Um, this morning I had a two mile shakeout run. And before I got into that run, I had a whole bagel with um, peanut butter, honey, banana, some cinnamon. Um, so that was a big calorically filled, carb filled, meal um so i had that earlier and by the time i went to go out with kelby uh i just wasn't hungry for another meal so this was going to be that meal so that's why it's breakfast it's 5 45 in, in the evening i love a good excuse to have breakfast though so breakfast for dinner um i'm using kodiak cakes and i can show you guys i'm having uh pancakes some eggs some sausage and then to make sure i still hit protein goals um two it's two servings of pancakes so that's six mini mini pancakes which i'll show you um to get in those those last bits of carbs so yeah we are i mean by this time tomorrow i'll be done running my half um preparation for this has looked so different from the last time i ran my first half marathon back in 2020. if i have the spaghetti then i'm not gonna have enough carbs for anything else mm. This is the, this is, uh, I guess lunch and dinner because, are you recording? Yeah. You sure? Yes. It says record. So since Denny's, all we have were those, a few bites of those donuts. And then this is our second wholesome meal. I'm really glad that we had a pretty, pretty solid breakfast this morning. All right. Got the full get up on with my bib number. 20. Um, I remember how I was just so nervous sitting up and I, I dialed in nutrition and I was experimenting with nutrition throughout training and this time around it's been a lot different. Not, in the not a bad thing, it's just, I think it just comes with experience. Um, and I also don't have any crazy goals tomorrow as far as time, so just want to enjoy it, have some fun. So that's the latest update. I'll show you what I'm making and then I'm trying to get to bed at a decent time. Like I said, it's about 5.45. I'm going to wake up probably around like 3.30. Uh, cause I need to, I need to get her taken care of in the morning. I also want to make sure that I go to the bathroom and I get a good solid carb loaded meal. Again, it's going to be, my, I'm saying meal cause it's going to be a bagel isn't a meal, but the bagel that I'm making has a ton of calories, um, a lot of carbs. So I want to make sure I get that in a few hours before the race. So my stomach can kind of digest it a bit and then, and then also just make sure I, I can do some stretching, and that's the plan. What? 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 All right, here we have it. <laughs> this is a hefty meal, lots of pancakes, aka lots of carbs, and plenty of protein and some fats. Just wanted to give you guys an insight into the nutrition side of things because I think that's one area where a lot of people fall short on. Nutrition is so important going into um, I would say running, but really any sort of physical activity, especially endurance, fueling yourself properly and getting ahead of fuel, of fueling yourself properly and not waiting till, okay, I feel dehydrated. Now I need to have something. I feel hungry. Now I need to eat something. It's like getting ahead of that. And then just making sure you're caught up. Cause once you start feeling dehydrated, you're, you're already behind and it's just hard to, I don't think you can catch back up. So nutrition on point, going to just relax for the evening until I start getting ready. I'll show you kind of what I have prepped for tomorrow morning. So. I'm gonna go eat this meal. Talk to you in a bit. Hello, we're back. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> it's the robe. Um, but like I said earlier, I'm gonna just show you what I've got set up for tomorrow. All right, so we have bib with the safety pins. And I've got my shirt. This was from BPN's Go One More Marathon. And the back of it says, finish the race. Figured this would be perfect for tomorrow so everyone behind me can feel motivated. Um, sports bra, shorts, and then, and then I've got my fanny pack. Um, I have my headphones, got them charged, finished charging them. And then I have my goose. I have three of these goose in there. I plan to have one five minutes before I take off and then one at like the three, four mile marker and then another one at like probably the eight-ish mile marker. Um, yeah, some extra carbs, some extra sodium and amino acids. 
These are what I bought earlier today at the expo. And then I think that's it. Got my shoes. I've trained in these this entire prep. The Saucony uh, Ride 13. I'm also charging my Garmin watch. I want to make sure it's on 100%. So it's 7.50. I want to get to bed within the hour. I plan on having one of these upon waking up or on the road maybe. And then just an extra one. I got these today for free. So I doubt I'll use these because I haven't had any of these during prep. I don't really want to mess up my tummy. And like I showed earlier, electrolytes. Um, and then G1M. This is the bottle that it's sold in right now, not that bag. So I'm going to make sure I have some of this when I wake up. Um, and then my water bottle. Just want to be fully prepared. So ready or not, we're running a half marathon tomorrow. So I'm hoping it's just... I get to enjoy it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm running for at least two hours tomorrow. So I know there's gonna be some sucky moments, but hopefully the majority of it, I can just enjoy, have fun, make some memories. I'm meeting some of the BPN team down there. Um, so I'm riding with um, Gabe and Eric. I'm gonna try to meet up with Ryan Kerman and um, I think Adam Klink and Shay. Um, they're also running the half, but their paces are gonna be insanely fast. So I don't think I'll be running with them um and then a preston gonna try to be, meet up with preston and his dad mike so hopefully we'll all meet up tomorrow and we can start the race off together but we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna get into bed it's almost eight gonna wind down and i will see you guys tomorrow for race day Good morning, happy race day. Um, I took my morning strong greens, strong reds, and creatine. I take that every morning, so I'm trying to keep routine very much the same um, as normal. And then I added in a scoop of electrolytes. Um, and then now I'm sipping on some GNM Sport to get in some fast digesting carbohydrates, get on top of my carb consumption. I'm going to make myself a bagel. Um, and I'll show you what's all on that to get it a big chunk of carbs uh, But first I'm going to do some foam rolling and some stretching And there we have it, lots of carbs. All right, just took Sky out. She's all settled in my room. She's fed and has water, good to go. I've got my bags, my race bag and my post race bag. I have a disposable water bottle filled with GM Sport and InFocus for some extra caffeine. So Gabe just texted me, I'm gonna get going. I'll see you guys and wrap. I'm here with Gabe and Eric. We just got downtown. Eric, how do you feel? I feel a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It's my first you know, half marathon. Uh, but I'm super excited just to get it over with and like just run it, just be present. And it's cool running with like a lot of people that I know. So it's nerve wracking, but it's also I also know I have people around me you know, just to support me. So I'm happy to be here. <laughs> that was so nice. Did you skip that? Yeah. You prized that, you prized that last yeah. time. <laughs> on camera, so I was practicing. <laughs> so yeah, it is 5.45. Um, I'm just sipping on the last of my InFocus and uh, G1M Sport. Ready. And yeah, we're excited to just get started. Big thanks and shout out to Gabe for driving us here. Waking up early and just being a supporter. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a bit. Yeah, we're going. 
All right, guys, we're here at the finish or the star line. Star line, right down there. It's six fifty-four. The focus Let's takes a little bit. Okay. Five minutes till the race starts. I'm gonna have my last goo. Um, swallow it down with some water and we're ready to go. So super excited. The weather is beautiful out here. It's like 50 degrees, there's no wind. It's a great day to run a half marathon. Put down a s'more, a campfire s'more. I've never had this flavor. Hi. No better time than that is yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. Good to see you again. You guys got courage. No, I'll tell, let me tell Ryan right here. Yeah. And my fingers are frozen. Yeah, but this is perfect though, right? Yeah. I don't, I can't have any relative pain anymore. That's my comes. Preston, how are we feeling today? We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I feel, feel well rested. That's always important. Go on the go on the full full money. Got to get taper so, in. Uh, I ran <laughs> once in the last three weeks. <laughs> so. That's a taper. Running buddy. You must be angry. Your battery. It, I, I have an extra battery. Oh, you do? In, in the backpack. Did you turn Bro. it? Bro! I don't think I did. Okay. <laughs> New personal record. Let's go. So I finished in about two hours and 20 minutes. Definitely slower than two years ago, but I enjoyed it so much more. It was just such a great experience. I ran it with Ryan the whole time. My pace buddy. Um, it was just such a cool experience. And having the VPN team here to cheer us on. Yeah, Two years ago, I finished and I said directly to the camera, I'm never doing this again. Um, and to all the people who told me that maybe I'll want to run a marathon after I run a half marathon, I literally never want to run again in my entire life. So, there's that. But I guess, so the fact that I've done it again is, you can do anything you set your mind to. So, 
I'm feeling really, really good. You guys were everywhere. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. There he is. There he is. Eric. There he is. Let's go. <laughs> And just like that, we're back home. <laughs> and I successfully ran my second half marathon. First guys, come say hi, come here. Oh, what a crazy day. <sighs> I'm really exhausted. <laughs> uh, my feet really hurt, my hips are pretty tight, but I just feel so proud of myself. Um, for doing something out of my comfort zone. Um, it really is so crazy to me to think that two years ago it was my first half and that I didn't think I'd ever do it again. You did a great job. I got you coming in. You, you hit, I was screaming as loud as I could. Oh my God. Well, you did it under two. Um, and my time last year was like an hour 56. But because I didn't push for a time, I enjoyed it. And that was my goal, it was to have fun. Complete it and have fun. So, my official time, two hours, 20 minutes and 50 seconds. That pace is way different than two years ago, but for running not being something I love to do, I'm proud of myself. Just feeling really, really grateful and proud. And it's crazy to think that two years ago, I challenged myself to run the marathon because of BPN. We just left BPN. I have no words. Like, that was just so freaking cool. What an awesome experience to get to go to the BPN headquarters. So that was cool. I talked to Preston, and then we talked to a few of the other employees. And then we got to talk to Nick. So we, um, it was really cool going to talk to Nick about just how much he's inspired me and and how much he's helping others and um, really cool guy. Just the whole experience is really awesome. And just being in the BPN uh, like warehouse it was really, really cool. I feel so freaking excited for tomorrow. That was just a great way to, I don't know, get pumped about running tomorrow. It's just really cool talking to everybody else who's in the same boat and just hearing how it's, it's, it's a crazy experience getting to run. So that, and now this year I got to run with BPN, AKA my teammates, my coworkers. Um, that is such a surreal full circle thing to think about and so special and I'm so grateful. You just truly never know what can happen if you just get out of your comfort zone. So I challenge you to just show up, keep showing up, keep challenging yourself, keep pushing yourself, be consistent. I'm telling you, if you can just be consistent, 
there's nothing you can't do. So take your first step, whatever it is that you're wanting to do, whether it's lose weight, gain muscle, enter some sort of competition, sign up for a race, take the first step in doing whatever that may be. Fill yourself with BPN supplements. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Shout out to the many people who came up to me. There was someone after I crossed the finish line and we were walking and she goes, I think I watched your YouTube video from two years ago. She's like, it's crazy now that I'm seeing you in person. So if you watch my videos, thank you so much. If I saw you on the course and you said something, it was so awesome meeting you. Um, that was my favorite part of this whole experience, just meeting so many so many people, so many new faces, so many supporters of BPN. Um, so just feeling grateful for this opportunity and for the many people that social media and BPN and this platform has introduced me to. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Why is it, why is it that you're acting like that you ran a half marathon today? You've been chilling at home all day. You're acting like you ran many miles today. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs>